Hi there. My name is Stuart Vermack. I work with Virginia Cooperative Extension in Loudoun County. And today we're going to be talking about watersheds in Virginia. So what is a watershed? Well, you might be thinking that a watershed is a large shed that we store water in. Maybe it's a big swimming pool, something like that. Well, in actual fact, a watershed is an area of land over which surface water flows to a single collection place. So you might be thinking to yourself, so what watershed do I belong to? And that's what we're going to look at today. So right here on the screen, we have the example in Loudoun County of Frederick Douglass Elementary School. And we're going to look at how water moves in the environment, that surface water that we spoke about just before, and where it might end up. And the way that water works is that if you've ever spilled some water, maybe a bucket of water outside, you'll notice that it always runs downhill. Water molecules always like to find more and more water molecules. They don't like to be alone. And so they are always looking for a bigger body of water. And we'll see that in this example. So here at Frederick Douglass School, we don't have to go very far to find a moving body of water. It's really important that it's moving. And that's the difference between, let's say, a creek or a river and a pond. A pond is not moving at all. And so looking here at this moving body of water, Tuscarora Creek. So if we continue to go with this creek and move along, let's see where it takes us. So if we move with Tuscarora Creek, we continue to move down, eventually it is gonna meet up with a larger body of water. What kind of water body do you think it might be? It's gonna be bigger than a creek. All right, we found one, okay? So we have found one here that is even bigger. If I zoom out, like you can see, we've gone from the small creek and we've gone into Goose Creek and it is a larger creek. So if we move along here, we can see that water molecules, like I said, are going to continue to look for an even larger body of water. And so what's bigger than a creek? Well, a river. And this is the Potomac River. A lot of you may have heard of that or even been to the Potomac River. If you haven't, you should go and check it out. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow this river. So again, those water molecules that have started off uh, and have moved into these different creeks, now they've found a river. And that river, those same water molecules are looking for an even big, bigger body of water, a single collection place. And so the Potomac River is what we're gonna follow. The Potomac River is really large and it is really long. And so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here. As we can see, we continue to follow it down. Still the Potomac. And it gets even wider. And you see how it joins up with other bodies of water. They're all looking for that large single collection point. Okay, you can see all of these little creeks and streams and stuff are linking up with the Potomac River. And as we go down, the Potomac River is going to get wider and wider and larger and larger. Okay, we continue to move. We continue to follow the Potomac River until eventually the Potomac River dumps us out here at the Chesapeake Bay. So the Chesapeake Bay is the major watershed in Virginia. It's actually one of three, but if you live in Northern Virginia or in Loudoun County, for example, that is the watershed in which all of that surface water is eventually going to end up. It covers approximately half of the land area in Virginia. And the other two uh, is the North Carolina Sounds and the Gulf of Mexico. So now that you have an idea of what watershed you exist in, it's time for you to think about something on your own. I'd like you to consider the statement, we all live downstream. What do you think that means? And what implications might that have for how we treat the water that is around us? Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos about watersheds.